This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Hello, my name is Harry Tumbuatko. Welcome to our program. I realize it's season's greetings, but since I'll be on again next week, it's closer to Christmas, I'll greet you tonight and today, and I'll greet you again next week. So, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and cheers to the new year. Now, as we go along on this show, a lot of issues have been cropping up. You've got, of course, CJ Serena trying to save her position. Um, what behooves me well, I can't even figure it out. Why hasn't she resigned? It'll just get worse for her. Leaving that on the side, we've got the Senate again, once again, with the same issue they were faced just last year. This deng, dengue problem, this Sanofi problem. It's either corruption, it's the health, it's, it's, it's everything else. What I don't understand is why it is again on air when we already know or the people are already outraged. It must be difficult to be a manager because if you are a good manager, you're a good administrator, you're only as good as information that is brought to you. Now here you are, your president, and then you get issues from health or from doctors of which you may not have any expertise. So you rely on all the information sent to you and you approve it. Now, when you do the approving or disapproving, the problem is if you act as a manager with self-interest, meaning you want to dip your hands in the pocket or in the pot so you can pull some of that, those funds away, then your decision making will falter and one day it'll come back to you. Uh, in English, it's called, in English slang anyway, it's called the shit hits the fan. Apparently at this point, it's not only that it's hit the fan, it's splattered everywhere in the room, leaving the toilet. Terrible as that may sound, it's as terrible the situation that we are faced with today. How they're gonna resolve that, we don't know. Going back to the problem of administration and being a good manager, a good administrator, you are only as good as information that is brought to you by experts on the field. In this show, we will talk about another issue that has already been blowing up and continues to stay bl blown apart, and the people are suffering. That's called EDSA. You've got the MRT. But you see, the EDSA and the MRT well, that's only in NCR, or what we call Imperial Manila. However, we've got the bulk density of the population that work and pay the taxes here in the NCR. We still have to consider the rest of the country. It seems government, based on news reports we've been reading, and DOTR, the agency and department that's uh, charged with, taking, uh, with going forward, it seems they're now heavily relying on railroads and on uh, electric cable cars, whatever. Is this the solution? Is this the only solution? To many of us, the, my perception, and like many, uh, I, would say, I would think, yes, let's put on rails, because after all, every country has it. It eases traffic. It may not necessarily be true. On this program, we will challenge that and bring an option. We brought this up some four or five weeks ago, but this time we'll be more cued in trying zeroing in exactly point by point. Is it the only solution or is there a better solution? We're talking about fill track. That's the title of the program and the topic today. And we're gonna talk about the option instead of trains and instead of railways, we will be talking about trucks, buses. 
that can be cabled together, run on electric engines on designated exclusive roads. Well, basically, it is 80% cheaper and 80% more efficient, and probably 100% more spread out as far as opportunities will be concerned if we were to build a 5,000 kilometer trackway for the buses from Luzon until the tip of Mindanao. With our guest today is Francis Yuseko. He is part of Filtrack. He has brought this idea up and he's been promoting, pushing his advocacy because he believes it's even the only solution that we have on EDSA. EDSA is already a mess. It doesn't get worse. It will just prolong itself. It's a cancer that cannot be cut out. But what is the solution? Is there a solution? In a nutshell, Francis, Meron, oh, you're yes, saying there. field track. Yes, definitely. Meron. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Let's go straight then to the bullet points that we sure. prepared. We have sure. eight or nine slides, uh -huh. and we will put them on. I will guide our technical control to put on the slide as I read it, but Francis here will uh, take it up on issues as we go along. Here we go on the first slide. It says Philippine Trackway and Road Train Project. 28 years ago, the Trackway Authority already stated that without the equitable economic distribution to the countryside, cities will always be congested. This is already what we see. All railways except the Hong Kong MRT are bankrupt. Is that real news, Francis? In the fake news, no, no, all? No. That's a fact. Except for Hong Kong Metro, if Hong Kong Metro would also be losing, if not for the real estate properties that they anticipated, they have to acquire in order to offset the operating losses of railways. But when you bring transportation to efficiency, moving higher densities of people from one to another, you can build new cities. You're not stuck with Makati, no, exactly. Munting Lupa, or Quezon City, right. or San Juan, Manila, right. NCA. Right. You can now have a whole new high-density city in Pampanga, Tarlac, La Union, going back. Although, can you to, imagine in the south? Yeah, up to Mindanao. Up to you can, yeah. So you now break away yeah. the hold of the stranglehold of cities. Correct. President-elect President, uh, President -elect Abraham Lincoln saw mm -hmm. this in 1861 when he was elected. That's why he, enact, he had Congress enacted the Pacific Railways Act of 1862 in order to trailblaze economic opportunities across America. the just emerging United States of America. Uh, 23 okay. states lang ata noon and yeah. they were growing. Correct. Now, what he did was to uh, hire, uh, you know, Chinese coolies. Oh, I remember. Because yeah, yeah. cheaper, $28 per month. Uh, compared to the ongoing rate then with $35 per month. But now, it's the same concept. Railways now are fine, but mm. so, they're so darn expensive. Uh, That's why, you know, tra as I mentioned, as I explained uh, to you the last time, there are three words in railroad truck. The rail, the road, and the truck. Uh, but the yeah. operative word is the truck. It's uh, the trackway that makes it uh, uh, operationally efficient. It's correct, no? It's right. the track. It's the trackway. Yeah. In this case, it is the exclusive roadway. Right. Which is cheaper because there are tracks. There are rails. There are rails. Yes, yeah, there are yes, yes. rails. Oh. rails. Okay, we'll oh. go forward. We'll go back to the same slide. Mm -hmm. All railways are financed by predatory terms. All railways need sovereign guarantees and perpetual subsidies from taxpayers denied their own benefits, value added, always favor exporting countries. How do you explain that? Okay, when, uh, let's say, Japanese rails or China rails mm. wants to export the railway system to the Philippines, uh. they will offer you financing terms. On, surf on the surface, they look concessional, uh. less than 1% interest, uh, seven years moratorium principle. Nevertheless, years. may interest pa rin yan. Correct. It's not the interest rate. It's really the foreign, the foreign exchange uh, mm -hmm. risk that makes this very predatory. Mm -hmm. And then all the value added in terms of raw materials, equipment, finished goods. Sa kanila spare, galing. Sa kanila, even labor. Yung contractors and the laborers na dadalhin lang sa Pilipinas. 
Hindi dapat. Bawal dapat yun. Bawal dapat. Dapat Pilipino ang gumagawa. But, 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 Ibali in Hinero nila, but, but not for all. Yes, but a lot of, a lot of it, the, the Filipinos will realize, ano ba tong pinasok namin? Ayun. Ganon. Sa lupa natin, lupa sila ang gumagawa, sila ang gagawa. Sila ang pumasok. Oh, tapos, yung pera, yung pera ang papautangin sa atin, hindi naman mahahawakan natin yun eh. It doesn't go inside our money, su sa money supplies. Direct sa mga suppliers sila. Kumikita rin sila. Kumikita sila. Tapos, i, i, they, will, they will create a balance sheet. On the right side of our balance sheet, they'll book it as 40 years loan. Pero Ayun. payable in ano, dollars. Or Talo whatever tayo. currency. Talo ka. Talo ka. Talo Predatory ka. talaga. Predatory. We'll go back to the same slide. Oh. The latest study made by the Boston Consulting Group stated that no matter how many expensive railways are installed, traffic will still be at a standstill. Now, I think that's what we see all around the world. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, the latest study conducted by the Technical University of Denmark concluded once again that trackways and road trains can match the operating efficiency of railways and rail trains. Let's go to, um, to uh, slide number two. Tracks. Trackways and road trains cost 80% less, interestingly enough, and 80% faster to construct. Gee, that's, um, Francis, just but that, that short sentence. Dapat doon na tayo, hindi kaya? Exactly. And ano doon eh? Not only that, ang, it's the Filipinos that makikinabang. Oh, so yun ang sinasabi mo nga. Right, right. You're bringing the labor to the countryside. Yeah, Tsaka local lahat to. Local lahat. Local lahat to. Local. Oh, kasi walang rails eh. Wala. Oh, Tsaka yung oh. technology. Mer oh, sige. Okay. We go forward. Right, right. Going back to the same slide, slide number two. Approved 355 billion for 25 kilometers the subway enough to build 5,000 kilometers of trackway linking the entire Philippines. You are now uh, blindsiding the Japan is it Japan or the Jai, China? Jaiga, the Jaiga. China. No, Japan yan. The Japan, Japan. Ito, subway. Ito, subway. Ito, subway yan. For 25 kilometers na, pwede na natin gawin yung buong Pilipinas. Yes, definitely. Pwede Alam mo, these two sentences, eh, ang hirap na i-deny ito. Exactly, pero in ng NEDA ICC. Eh. But in fairness to NEDA ICC mm. and the DOF, yeah. they've endorsed our 5,000 kilometer trackway to the DOTR. So it's really a matter of uh, good management. Yes. At the end of the day, right. what the president will choose in which way. Correct. Okay, we oh. go forward. We're on the same slide, number two. Trackways and road trains can provide reverse subsidies and liberated subsidies, which will improve lives within and beyond the Philippines. With equitable distribution on the countryside, the process of reverse migration will become unstoppable. This is what we just discussed. Right. Strict and sustained enforcement of existing laws will decongest EDSA and other cities in the metro. Now we're going to go to slide number three. I got a blank page right in front of me. Okay, here we okay. go. Republic Act number one, 4156, the PNR, Philippine National Railroad Charter, allows it to operate road tracks. Road ah, trains. Road, road tracks. Track, road trains. Sorry, right. road trains. Articulated double deck buses and smart trucks. Thus, initially operate trackway from Tutuban to Clark to Tutu and from Tutuban to Colamba to Batangas. Anito, agreed na ito? No, not yet. We are. Pero Republic Act nito. No, no, rep, uh, no. I mean the charter. This is the Republic. That's the PNR charter. The PNR. It charter. doesn't limit it to operating only rail trains. Ah. It allows it to operate. So road. may batas na. Meron na. It allows it to operate road trains. Road trains. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Gawas sa Pilipinas. Gawadi to. Gawadi. Okay. The trackway will divert 500,000 to 1.5 million passengers. My gosh, that's one to three. A day from Metro Manila to until, including EDSA. Trackway will also divert cargo traffic from Manila Port to Batangas Seaport. Whoa, that's a long way. Up to Clark Airport and Subic Airport. Number four, the combined commuter and private uh, passenger, passenger, car passenger and cargo diversions to the trackway shall substantially reduce traffic in Metro Manila by 30%. How did you calculate that? Uh, no, it's just an estimate. Um, Neda ito. Which one? No, it's 30, how uh, did you compute the 30% na 
the private cars. Kasi ngayon, what's happened in EDSA? They took two lanes for the buses, Correct. the passenger Correct. buses. Correct. Correct. They took one lane for two two and more people. No, three and more people. Right, right. The extreme left. Right. And you have two middle ones for right. drivers with one driver. Right. One passenger. Correct. The, the number of passengers taking public uh, public uh, ah because uh, from 500 to 1.5 right, million right, right. mas malaking masasakay mo Correct. so immediately 30% right. one kasi I said multiplied by 3 eh. right. okay we'll go back to the same slide the number 5 the last part the common the common carriers law obligates all common carriers to exercise extraordinary diligence for all land sea and air common carriers to ensue the safety of passengers and cargos. That's exactly what they're trying to do now with EDSA anyway, and the uh, trains, I, correct? I hope so. They, they should have done that a long, long time ago. Because if you notice- Yeah, but we already got messed up with this guy, uh, Abaya, uh, Abaya right, right. and uh, Busan, which is a fake front, right, and, right, you know, right, right. and the service suppliers na ninakawan lang at right, kinahawin right, lang pala right. yung trend. Correct. But that's basically what they're going after. Right, right. Number six. Ah, the Land Transportation uh, Office to conduct thorough inventory of all PUVs to determine whether they are all roadworthy. This is what President Duterte is trying to do by January 1 mm. to take out 15-year-old jeepneys and older. Uh -huh. The result of the inventory, it seems to also substantially reduce traffic volume due to the decommissioning of not roadworthy public utility vehicles, potentially by 10 up to 20%. Number eight, the LTFRB to enforce RA 8293, giving protection priority in actual utilization of duly registered Philippine copyrights and patents. Uh, what did you mean by this? The LTFRB can Im impose a uniform one operating system. Ah, so hindi na yung mga yun, one jeepney, two jeepneys, magpaprangkisa ka. Correct. Parang, ganun din yung mga taxi ngayon eh. Something like that, yeah. Ganun din yung UB Express. Right, right, right. Instead oh. of Nako, magagalit siya yung komunista, yung hinuli nila last week, di ba? Si San Pedro. Hindi <laughs> naman. Eh, kan eh di ba? Naninigaw no. siya. Ayaw niya palitan yung mga jeepney. Gusto no. niya, let's retain the dilapidated uh, no. jeepneys. No, iba lang approach namin. Ang approach namin, if you replace 260,000 old jeepneys with 260,000 new jeepneys, walang effect sa traffic eh. Oh, ganun din. Di ba? Ganun din. Ang sa amin, if you spread out economic opportunities, across through, through the countryside we have about 26 million farmers 26 million farmers need shuttle services to bring go to the that, goods yes. bring the goods to the trackway uh, so sasabihin natin ngayon as i explained before yung presyo na limang piso na kinikita ng farmer before uh, magkikim 25 pesos na correct okay so sasabihin natin we need shuttle services for these farmers bakit hindi kayo yun na lang yun na lang makipag-ugnayan sa kanila maging partner o maging farm, farmer na rin kayo kasi ang laki ng kikitahin nyo eh. imbis na 5 piso 25 pesos na per kilo Ayaw. so ngayon yun, yung jeepney mo na gusto mong ayaw mong palitan yung body uh, merong pag, 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 pagkakataon kumita dito sa you know being a, being a, a, a in the countryside because instead of 5 pesos per kilo, 25 pesos okay, na per kita kilo mo. kikitain mo. So it's a 500% exponential growth. At you still maintain your, your property, your jeepney, your, your dilapidated jeepney. If you want. jeepney. Yeah, if you hey, want. Tatambak ka mga vegetables at kuno ano. Yeah, dadali mo sa trackway ngayon. Ah. Mawawala dyan, Harry, are, is the, are the middlemen. Okay, we're going to have to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to continue with another three pages or maybe two left and discuss the issue. The problem is, do we have time? Well, it seems we don't. But we should always have time for good ideas. Correct me if I'm wrong. Regardless of the issue, time may be of pressure. Things may go on. The jeepneys may be started to get replaced by January 1. Does it mean we have to stay with that for the next 10 years? Or should we not look and realize other options that are facing us in the face? This show will be a testament to this option that is extremely viable. Should you watch, listen, and promote? We'll be right back. Mm -hmm. 